There's still hope. <laughs> it hasn't there. been decided yet. <laughs> Recount the votes. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk about all major movie and television news. It's Culture Chris, Cosmic Warren, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about Johnny Depp and his removal from Fantastic Beasts 3. It's kind of some crazy news, it's controversial in a lot of different ways, it and is. I think the overwhelming majority of fans are kind of unsure how to feel about it. And we were talking about it earlier and we thought, well, why don't we do a video talking about the news, what exactly is going on, why it's happening, and, yeah. and what it means for the future of the franchise and actors all around. It's just weird because we don't know what happened, right? Disclaimer, we, we have no idea, but you heard and you kind of saw things and everyone's like, well, Johnny Depp has all this evidence. He has other ex-girlfriends going to mm -hmm. court testifying for him, saying how such a great guy he is. And, and I feel like there has been like proof that she also did some stuff too. But yet, here he is in this situation, and it's weird because he wasn't suing, he was suing a, a media company. Yeah, for For defaming. their title, for yeah. defamation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they called him a wife beater. Mm -hmm. And he lost. <laughs> like, I don't understand that. Because I haven't heard any instances of him actually hitting her. There's a lot of weird stuff going on. We don't really know what's happening, right? But it's just really weird. So now, Warner Brothers, they fired him. We're not gonna. Yeah. We're not gonna <laughs> they asked him to step down. Yeah, but if he said no, <laughs> yeah, he would. They wouldn't have said, "Okay, that's fine. Continue <laughs> to play in the wall and fantastic beast," <laughs> right? They would have said, "Well, now we're just gonna fire you, and all the headlines are gonna say you're fired." Right. Right. So it's like he didn't have much of a choice. He didn't have a choice at all. And he even said in his statement, "I'm still going to fight this." Oh, he and did. And that was including yeah. Warner Brothers and his removal from. The movie, and it might be all too late because it, it is due happens. to the court case. One hundred percent. They waited. It was like literally yeah. the day after yeah. or something. The court case, court case came. He was like, they were like, oh, hey, we asked Johnny Depp to resign, and mm -hmm. he put out his statement. Warner Brothers asked me to resign, so I did. But he is gonna fight it, and he said, I'm not gonna let my name be tarnished by this mm -hmm. because I didn't do anything wrong. Which is, you know, again, it seemed like. He, he had a lot on his side, so... I was very surprised at the result of the the second case, where he came out and he was suing the son, he was suing Amber Heard. Yeah. I was very surprised with all the evidence he had and everything that happened that he ended up not winning the case. But all of that aside, what does this mean to you? You know, we talk about movies all day long. What do you think this means to actors all around the world that your personal life is now so heavily involved in, you know, he's lost Pirates of the Caribbean. Right, yeah. He's lost yeah. now this and how many other, it's Johnny Depp, right? right. He is one of our time's the most biggest famous name. actors. Biggest, <laughs> one of the biggest names. And you know what, like, I think a lot of contribution to this is the Me Too movement, mm -hmm. but it works for guys too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it like, seems like granted, whatever was happening, he and she were both involved in some kind of wrongdoing. Right, and that's the thing. And it's like, it's not like a Hollywood executive was doing something wrong, which is like the big Me Too thing, right? And the majority are women who get it happen to. 100%. But in this case right here, when you have so much proof on both sides that both were clearly... Doing something. Doing something. <laughs> it's so weird to say, well, like, why isn't Amber Heard a husband beater? And I don't know anything about the case, right? I'm not saying she beat him. I don't know. But, but it's only it, going one but way. But would it be the other way around? Yeah, she came out two days ago and said she wants a bigger role in Aquaman 2. She wants to be more involved. And he's getting kicked out of Fantastic Beasts. Right. And, 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 and then I want to talk mostly just about the movie now because all the political side of it, the, right, the right. legal that's stuff the about it. Of all of so it. that's the lead up to where yeah. we are now. So Fantastic Beast 3. We're losing Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp Grindelwald. who wasn't the yeah. main character, but was probably a fan favorite. But the next film, I mean, he's the main villain. Yeah, oh, he's literally he's the center. The, the plot was pushing towards what he was up. I mean, the second movie right. was Crimes of Grindelwald. Right, well, and, and if you've read the last Harry Potter book, I know a lot of people have just seen the movies, but they actually go into detail about how Dumbledore fought Grindelwald. Mm -hmm. It's a big part, and I believe he's gay with him. I think J.K. Rowling came out and said, like... And, it, and it's in the last movie. They did the blood pike, mm -hmm. right? They did it together. They swore not to hurt each other, right? Mm -hmm. So they had a relationship together. So it's a huge part a huge of the character. next movie. And there's five movies. And we right. have three left. And they kicked them out. So All I keep going back to is the very first movie. And I don't know if anybody knew, but I sure as heck didn't. That Johnny Depp was involved. Yeah, he was Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell was Johnny Depp the whole entire time. Yeah, and then right at the end, you know, he switches back out. Whether he's right. taking apology potion or whatever it was. Yeah. 
and it's him, and I was in the theater, and I literally gasped because I was so surprised <laughs> and then so really excited cool. for the future right. of the franchise going on. Hey, Johnny Depp has this yep. huge role. Yep. So what do you think moving forward is Warner Brothers' move? Okay, Johnny Depp's gone. Even if he turns all of this around, it won't be till after they've replaced yeah. him or killed off his character. What do you think Warner Brothers now does? Well, I think it's a bad move on their part, and I, I get where they're coming from. We don't want someone with this reputation in our movies. Like, I kind of get it. But I think it was a huge mistake because Fantastic Beasts, the first one, good movie, solid movie, not the best movie in the world. The second one wasn't as good, but Johnny Depp was the best part of the second Definitely one. Definitely His character arc and everything that went involved with him. And even that line when he's revealed, they're like, we're putting you in jail. And he, he like changes, he looks up and he's like, but can you contain me? Yeah. Like, it's like, Goosebumps. oh, gosh. Goosebumps. Right. <laughs> it's like, geez, it's like... Okay, this is awesome. So, I think it was a bad move as far as, like, movie strategy goes. Mm -hmm. I think people are going to be thrown off. Because I think they were already thrown off with the second movie. Because it wasn't as good as the first. And the first wasn't as good as the Harry Potters. Which is everyone's excitement, right? So, now the excitement's kind of gone of, Hey, it's another Harry Potter film. But it's like, okay, well, they're not as good. And it's like, oh, Johnny Depp, huge name, right? Well... He's gone now, too, mm -hmm. and he was the main bad guy. Now, we can talk about the replacement guy, Mads Mikkelsen, which isn't confirmed, but it's been reported by, you know, all the different yeah, media he's, outlets. He's the front runner right now. He's the front runner. They're talking to him right now. So you drop out Johnny Depp, and you put in Hannibal Lecter, <laughs> <laughs> and you decide that you're just going to move forward like nothing happened? Yeah. So you just keep, you don't think they, well, I mean, they can't, that's the thing, they can't just kill off the character. No, no, it's 100% about him moving forward. Because it has it's to gonna be. It's going to be about him and Dumbledore moving forward. So I have another pick, there. actually, because Jude Law, obviously. Right. What about Ewan McGregor? Imagine those two on the same screen together. I love Ewan McGregor, I don't know if I can see it. I only see him as a good guy. Oh well, yeah, I know, but imagine they put him in that role, that would be a cool replacement. Be a cool I replacement. think Jude Law and Ewan McGregor on yeah. screen together, that could actually be really, really I think it would be pretty cool. But it does look like Mads Mikkelsen is leading Hannibal Lecter. I actually I only... just recently watched the show on Netflix, The Stranger. I don't know oh, the actress's yeah. name. It has um, the ghost from Ant Man uh, and the Wasp. Yeah, yeah, he's a fantastic job, fantastic actor. He's I only legacy. think James Bond. Yo, Casino Royale. Yeah, played a good villain. Yeah, played a good villain. So I guess he could pick up that villain and move forward with it. But does this affect the not the hype, but the overall outcome of the enjoyment for this movie now that Johnny Depp is gone? Yes, De immediately. It does because it's Johnny Depp. Like, how many people will look at Mads Mikkelsen, know the face, right? But not know his name. That's true. A ton of people, yeah. right? No offense to the guy, I love him as an actor, he's a good actor. But he's not Johnny Depp. He's not Johnny Depp. <laughs> Johnny Depp. Even right. Colin Farrell, actually, <laughs> <laughs> would be a good replacement, I feel, but obviously you can't, because that's confusing. Well, so, also, I think they actually look for him Actually, maybe first. they do that. No, they looked for him already. I think he oh. conflicted with the Batman. Dang it, because that would be... That would be fantastic if it's yeah. like, oh, no, that was my thought. true form, yeah. and then I changed the Johnny yeah. Depp, and now my true form. That would be a really clean oh. cleanup, but I think that conflicted mm. with Batman, so he wasn't able to do it. Well, they should keep it. trying, because that's I, I agree. I think if they're going to do it, Colin Farrell is your best bet to Batman's keep it like almost done, and they pushed their release date back, so maybe they could. Maybe they could. I kind of hope Maybe they that. pushed it back because he's in Batman. So, one more exciting part to talk about, and I guess exciting is, is a term depending on how you feel about the whole case. Sure. Johnny Depp filled a single scene for this movie already. Yeah. Because of that single scene, and in his contract he has a play-to-pay clause, he gets paid his full eight-figure salary for this movie. <laughs> <laughs> so he did one scene. That's like freaking Ninja that, on Twitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he gets paid his entire, entire salary from this movie uh, based off of the one scene he filmed that isn't even going to be in the movie. Good for you. <laughs> good for you, my friend. Oh my gosh. Isn't that crazy? If you're watching this, I am sorry for this whole situation, but good for you. <laughs> Just go find an island. Oh. <laughs> but it was really cool to see at the very end of his letter they put out on Instagram, he said, I will not let this moment define my life right. and my career. And it won't tarnish my name or something like yeah, that. Yeah, right? so yeah. So it's cool to see that he is still fighting through it because it's been a really rough few years. Yeah. Oh, for yeah. the actor, oh, for, for sure. the fans. I mean, he yeah. does have a cult-like following. Oh, he does, yeah. I mean, name the movies he's been in and, and the appearances he's made and how every single one of them is different. And, yeah, and just he's an iconic he actor. Yeah, he's an he's, iconic actor. And it sucks that he's being dragged through this. Now, again, we don't really know what's happening. The details behind and, all of it. And, you know. But regardless, as a fan of movies, as a fan of Johnny Depp, yeah. 
it is tough to watch it happen to see him being pulled out of the movie and how they're going to fix and clean it up, how he's going to fix and clean it up, what yeah. Amber Heard's future holds, because she still has a lot of big roles, Aquaman yes, too, yeah. and more others. So it will be interesting to see how all of this ends up cleaning up in the end, but it does look like for surety, Fantastic Beasts is going to move on without Johnny Depp. Oh, there, yeah. there are a couple names on the board yeah. already, but sure. we're going to have to see what their plan is. There's no way they kill off the character because he he's the center of no, the entire story. You can't kill story. off the character. Uh, man, I'm really wanting that Colin Farrell idea. Yeah, but, yeah uh, well, we need a right to make that happen. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. And I'll only take like 90% of the idea. Like, <laughs> salary for that. <laughs> You're like, freaking A, Johnny Depp. That's uh, that's amazing for you that you can still get that. At least a little that's bit of... A li I was going to say, there's like a tiny silver lining. You can pay for all the court cases. Now. Too <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, Amber Heard seems like she's doing alright. It doesn't seem like there's too much defamation on her part. Mm -hmm. um, but it seems like both were fairly at fault here. So. Somewhat involved right, in somehow yeah, or Yeah, another. and you know, I don't know, marriage is hard. But um, <laughs> hopefully Johnny Depp comes out alright. Um, and hopefully he is as innocent as he says he is. I hope he didn't do all those things. He okay. seems like a genuinely good guy and all of his ex-girlfriends are vouching for him. So, we'll, we'll see. But, see. Fantastic Beasts might be in trouble. Uh, I, I think they need a bigger name than Mads Mikkelsen. I think they need like a, like a huge name, like I don't even know. No, it'd be it's a very interesting Kanye West. Out. Kanye West coming in and saving the day <laughs> when he's done being president. Everybody will watch it. I'm not I mean, wrong. I would watch everybody it. will watch it. I don't think I'd enjoy it, but I would it watch won't it. be good. But everybody will watch it. Kanye 2020. I think it's a little There's still hope. It hasn't it's... been decided yet. <laughs> Recount the votes. That's why. Because of Kanye. <laughs> All right, guys. Let us know what you think of this entire happening. But focus on Fantastic Beasts. What do you guys think the future Fantastic Beasts is going to look like now that Johnny Depp has exited? How do you think they fix it? Let us know in the comments down below. Yeah. It's not looking good. But let us know what you think. Thanks for stopping by today. This is Warren. And Chris. Peace. Bye.